we're about to take a video overview of the underbody for this absolutely amazing 1989 Mercedes 420 SEL. This car is stunning with only 37,000 miles and truly museum quality condition. It is probably the only one in the country that remained to be in this very condition. our showroom and uh, I'm gonna jump in with Dan over here Dan let's take it around the building amazing radius of turning for these big cars the dashboard wood leather the entire interior the headliner is in spectacular condition we're gonna pull it on into our service bay and put it up on the lift and do a nice video overview the car was in excellent condition and we've made some nice uh, service improvements and enhancements we're just about to get into our service bay This is our alignment lift, state-of-the-art um, lift and the alignment system you have right there. And that's a long vehicle. Very smooth engine, plenty of torque. We basically made it up the ramps nearly at idle. Look at the mileage. 38,686 miles on this vehicle are we good Dan are we good or should I go forward a little bit excellent oh, before we lift it up in the air we're gonna listen to the engine can you A super smooth running V8, all aluminum engine, still state of the art engine, and a lot of technology that was used uh, on this engine, still used by Mercedes Benz, uh, their top of the line engines. We have a double row timing chain, which uh, makes it very reliable. Even the belts, uh, the power steering water pump belts, are double belts. Very, very quiet engine. As you can see, condition of it, uh, all the hardware for the <clears throat> for the fenders and for the uh, radiator support, it's all original. We have no detailed engine compartment. Believe it or not, you're looking at the very original vehicle. It has not been detailed. Of course, the exterior has been uh, washed, uh, polished, um, but from the standpoint of paint condition, there was minimal to no touch-up. This guy has original factory paint. And we're going to use a paint meter to show you that. We're going to shut off the engine and do a quick paint meter test right now. We'll start with the hood. First of all, the paint uh, finish and paint texture is consistent with factory and paint thickness. It certainly is too at 3.0 uh, mils. Uh, we're looking at the fender, which measures 3.5. Uh, the cladding and the forward part of the bumper, the front bumper and the rear bumper, were designed to be finished with a special mix of flexible flat or semi-gloss finish which is original on this vehicle and in amazing condition with no imperfections look at the chrome you don't see any type of overspray this car is simply and absolutely amazing 
as we go, as we make our way around the vehicle, the right side of the hood also measures at three and a half. I will comment on the condition of the grill. The chrome is impeccable and there are no chips on the vehicle except for one tiny little touch up uh, right here. Uh, we actually going to clean it and improve it. Someone done it in the past. Right front fender measures uh, 3.5 and has no imperfections. Uh, right front door is at 3.0. Right rear door is at 3.0. We're also going to measure lower part of the door because back in the day it was not uncommon to uh, paint sections if needed. But there are no paint thickness differences on the transition. The paint should measure anywhere from 2.5 to 5.5 on this vintage Mercedes. We're looking at the quarter panel. We're measuring 2.5 in the upper portion and 3.0 in the lower portion. And as we go up into the roof, we're measuring 4.0 and 4.0 in the forward part of the pillar. The roof itself measures three and a half. The sunroof uh, panel measures 4.0, which makes it original. There are no rust spots around the window reveal moldings or window gaskets, the typical areas where these cars unfortunately had rust pretty much most of them except for the ones that were carefully preserved as this vehicle was. Uh, the trunk is 4.0. The back part of the trunk is uh, let's see what is it uh, two and a half. The rear body panel is at 3.0 which also makes it original and 2.5 on the right side. The lenses are original uh, they do not have uh, excessive or any fading, which is absolutely amazing. For those that know this body style, if you look at the seam right here, it is original. And the back panel measures two and a half. And the quarter measures three and a half. As we go throughout the quarter panel, 3.0 here. 3.5 and 3.5 here. Over here, I will make a comment about this quarter panel. Uh, there was one small imperfection right in this area. We have amazing reconditioner who was able to do the touch up and uh, blend the paint in this area. So there was. This is the only part of the car that has um, more than just um, chip. There was a small uh, scuff right here and uh, our technician was able to blend in the color instead of doing a complete body work. So when you look at this vehicle, you're really not gonna see it unless you know about it or if you have a paint meter because with the paint meter, we can see it measures eight because our technician had to put a layer of paint and he transitioned over here. So when we look at that, you can see two and a half and then it goes to five and a half and it goes to five and a half and four and a half so there's a little bit of paint transition here again it's beautifully done uh, to be able to retain a factory finish on the left quarter panel normal body shop would certainly refinish the entire panel and would have to go up and blend out here instead our technician was able to transition on this body line uh, the left front door measures at 5.0 and 3.0 on the left front door and we're back to the quarter panel we're measuring three and a half so all these panels they measure under five, five and a half which makes it an original paint for this mercedes in addition uh, we do a texture match which means we walk around the vehicle and we make sure the texture on each panel is consistent with adjacent panel uh, because you, you could potentially have a panel replacement and it will also measure uh, the same as a factory. Uh, we go through the trouble of checking all the hardware, all the seals, make sure factory rust proofing is all in place and we confirm that this car in fact has all original body panels. We're now going to get it up in the air and uh, take a look at the underbody.
While it's going up in the air, we're gonna take a quick look at the rims. And the cladding for that matter. So as far as the rims, what is absolutely amazing that they are also original. They haven't had uh, paint work. They are original rims and they measure a little over 1.5 mils on the rims. Uh, this one does as well as the other one. This is absolutely amazing. So the person who drove the car, and we do have a full history from day one of this vehicle, 1.5 on this rim, as well as the last rim also measures 1.5. So we do have a full history on this vehicle. It was originally uh, purchased uh, by, the by the gentleman in New York, um, in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, pretty much his life savings went into this car. That was his dream automobile, and he bought it in 1989. And it was definitely not for transportation, it was more for the pleasure of ownership. At some point, about two years ago, in uh, 2017, uh, I would say 2016, he, uh, the ownership was transferred to his son, who kept the car in the garage, and uh, eventually he was referred to Alpha Cars to be able to find a good home for this vehicle. So let's check the underbody. So we're going to start from the back and make our way uh, towards the front. We have done some uh, reconditioning, cosmetic reconditioning on the exhaust system. And uh, we certainly made some good amount of mechanical improvements to the suspension, which I'll comment on. But we'll start, the most important thing is, is rust. And this car has none of it. We're looking at the rear body panel, the lower part of it. First of all, there are absolutely no signs of any type of accidents. Uh, the panel paint is original. You can still see factory rust proofing, which is this little thing right there. Uh, and as you, we're gonna make our way, I hope we can, yes, we can into those areas inside. And the, it looks like we're looking in the back, everything is great and solid. Uh, see a couple of pits on the inside of the chrome moldings, that's about it. Everything else over here looks 100% original from the standpoint of panel shape and panel finish. There's not a sign of rust anywhere at all. We're actually going to get to see. Yeah. So the muffler, <clears throat> yeah, we do have the cross members here. And you see a little bit of rust there, but that is on the rear. Um, differential mount bracket itself. We're looking at the fuel pump, which um, also integrates a, a fuel filter, and it's a dual fuel pump system. We're also looking at the rear brakes, which are in very good condition. This guy has no vibrations, and um, the pads in very good condition. Control arms. The rear muffler was replaced at some point because we can see there's a label. That's not how it came from the factory. That was replaced. I know that we cleaned up and uh, applied high temperature uh, paint to this center muffler, if you will. Uh, the flanges look good and solid. As you can see, the catalytic converters look very good and solid. Yep, here are the flanges. Again, you'll see some normal uh, surface rust, which is uh, just normal for the exhaust. All the brackets are in place. The most important thing are the frame rails. As you can see, they're in excellent condition. All the hardware is original. None of that was ever taken apart. All the lines, original, no rust. Uh, floorboards, in amazing, amazing condition. No scuffs or rust or um, any issues at all. It, it is just absolutely amazing how this car, how very well this car was maintained and kept. We're, we're making our way to the front and uh, now we're looking at the frame rails. They start here from the front. Hi Fernando. Hello. Say hello to our hello. YouTube yes. channels. 
Hello, YouTube channel. Can you introduce a, yourself? I'm Fernando. I had a question on the Bentley Continental GT. Hold that thought. We have about two minutes to All finish. Right, okay. Uh, we're almost Can you done. Come and visit me? I will come and visit hey, you. Hey, we're hey. almost done here. Okay, so with this, uh, we're looking at the driver's side uh, frame rail, which we observe from the very beginning. Again, there's no uh, rust to speak of. Uh, the, 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 what you see right here, it's more of just a surface um, surface condition. And then we make our way through the frame rail, which is an original condition, and it's in perfect condition. We're going to do the same thing on the driver's side frame rail. It starts from over there, has not been moved or touched by any type of accident. It's all original. And then it uh, continues on and goes all the way back in its original condition, no issues. All these typical things that we usually find rust, this has none of it. This is an amazing vehicle and we may be looking at a one of a kind, a uh, large body style with only third, uh, high 30s for mileage. It has 38,000 right now. I know we drove it a little bit after we did all the service work and it now has a little over 38,000 miles. So the lower radiator support or lower cross member is original with no signs of interaction with curbs. It has no rust and all original rust proofing is there. There are no oil leaks from the engine anywhere. We have gone through and replaced uh, some gaskets. Uh, you can see details on our website or call us for that information. Uh, we also replaced these bushings in the back, thrust arm bushings. A very careful alignment was done. Uh, everything was checked on the vehicle and it drives amazing. I actually drove this car for several hundred miles and I enjoyed it immensely. I would have no issues driving it every day. It is that comfortable. I had passengers in the back and uh, there was such a wow factor not only from the passengers, but obviously from people on the road. But in the back, there's so much room. This vehicle is uh, almost as a limo. Thank you very much for viewing this video from our YouTube channel, from our Alpha Cars uh, YouTube channel. We just made uh, a pretty comprehensive video of a 1989 Mercedes 420 SEL with a very low mileage and it's basically is a one owner vehicle. It's it, it changed ownership in the last two years uh, to the son of the original owner and then uh, uh, we took it over at Alpha Cars. We made um, mechanical improvements. Cosmetically this car just needed a good detailing. It was very very clean but we brought out the shine and um, we did not do any changes to the underbody. Whoever would be the next owner, we can, or that person can. Uh, there could be just some light cosmetic cleaning underneath, and I wouldn't call it rust, but there are a couple of spots where there's, there's really uh, minor surface uh, rust origination, which is very easy to access and preserve. So this car should be preserved for generations to come and if you want to be the one doing it while driving it and enjoying it please contact us here at alpha cars you can visit our website at alphacars.com